Hello, and thanks for checking out this video on how to use a Honeywell ST9100S boiler time switch. This unit controls the head's central heating, so you would normally find this programmer being used where you don't have a hot water tank, in other words, where you've got a combi boiler. This unit has two on and off periods per day. It's got a nice big screen, and there'll be some information on here which will help you through the programming process. The display shows the time, the date, and the day, and the programmer will set these itself. It also shows the mode that you've currently got your heating set to. So you press the mode button to change the mode. Auto, that means it'll use the programs that you've programmed into the unit. Once, this means it'll turn the boiler on at the first on time programmed and off at the last off time. So if you've got the unit programmed to come on, say, at 7 in the morning, go off at 9, then on again at 4 and off at 10 at night, it'll come on in the morning at 7 and then it'll, go, it'll be on all the way through till 10 at night. Next mode is continuous. As it says, this, will, this is the continuous mode, so it's permanently on until you change this. And then off, permanently off, until you change the mode. Two buttons here, extra hour and override, and I mention those later. And you'll have seen that the light comes on, the green light comes on uh, when it's telling the when when the central heating is operational. Okay, pushing up the flap, we'll see a few more buttons and a slider switch. The slider switch has three positions. The day time that lets you change the day or the time. Uh, you shouldn't need to use this because it comes already programmed but it's quite easy to do if you need to. Use the plus or minus buttons so it says set the day 13th of the month which it is so use the buttons to set is day okay is day okay. Press the green button move to the month move to the year plus or minus to change it date saved. You shouldn't need to do that because the, it, as I said it will pick that up automatically. Set program. This is the important position. The program lets you change the programs for when the heating will be on. And just finishing off on the slider switch, the run is the usual position to have the slider switch in, and that lets the programmer get on with its job. So, with the switch on program, you see that the time that the heating is currently set to come on for is flashing. and on one. So first on during the day, 6.30 a.m. Use the plus or minus to change that. And as you change it, little message on time one, is it okay? As soon as you're happy with the on time, press the green button. Saved. Off time, change that with the buttons. Press okay. Saved. Set on time two. Okay saved and off time too. You'll see the off two flash in there with the time. Saved. So, so it's complete. So we've now been through and reviewed all of the, the times. Uh, happy with those? Move it down to run. Now on this unit you can't set different times for the weekend. So if you want the heating to come on later, for example on Saturday, you'd need to change the program on a Friday evening to make that happen. Now, there are a couple of buttons I mentioned up here. The extra hour button will turn the heating on for an hour. And you see plus one hour there. If you press it again, two hours. If you press it three times, you get three hours. Press it a fourth time, and it cancels that mode. If, you're, if the heating is, all, is on at the moment, then pressing the extra hour will extend the heating program by an hour, two hours or three hours. The override button, that works only in the auto and once mode. And what this does is overrides the setting. So if the boiler is on, so you've got the central heating on, the green lights on, it's in once, press override and it'll go, it'll, it'll turn it off. And it'll turn it off until 
the next call for the boiler to be on, to be on which is tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. Similarly, if it's off, press override and it'll turn it back on until the next off period. Well, that's all I need to explain on this unit. It is quite a simple unit to use and the, the information that you get on the screen uh, once you've been through it once or twice will help you work out where you are and what you need to be doing. So I hope this short video uh, will be of help to you uh, in, in using your heating system in a cost-effective way for you. Thanks for watching.